Welcome to the Press Preps Roundtable. I am Tony Mealy, joined by Scott Springer and Nick Dudukovic. And today we are discussing the softball playoffs, which continue into district action this week. Uh, Scott, who are some of your top teams to watch? Uh, i got number one, Glenn Estee playing Mason on Friday. Ben Hayes, Steinmetz, the Gregory sisters, uh, Kirsten, Kayla, tough squad there. D2, Amelia, and Finneytown. That's today as we're shooting this, uh, Shelby Engel. Uh, and if they win, they might play Mercy, and can they hold off Erica Leonard? She's you know, a stud. I'm a hot chop on her. Uh -huh. She's something. Uh, Deer Park and, and Reading is today. I talked to the Killer Bees. Uh, Autumn Brewer, Stacy Bradford, and Casey Burling yesterday. Uh, they love the nickname. It's not really original, but it's cool. Go watch them. They're a fun team to watch. Deer Park, D3. And uh, Division Four Montana Ware. I think on occasion we've mentioned her. Like every time we've done a video, yeah, that's true. she's really good. <laughs> and they play Cedarville today, and uh, they might wind up playing Williamsburg, a team that you know about with a very tough pitcher. Rachel Meisberg, a very good pitcher for Williamsburg. 11-2 uh, and two on the season through 14 games. So, you know, about 140 strikeouts. Definitely an excellent pitcher. But I also want to mention that in Division One play, Ursuline just wrapped up a sectional championship with a, a big win, 7-4 win over Milford uh, on May uh, 16th. Uh, Ursuline features Hannah Murley and Maria Lighty in the lineup. Together they combine for nine home runs on the year. We've got the Ruth and Garrick of the, the GGC out here. And then, you know, they, they, they play Lakota West, and you know, we could uh, see Ursuline as a potential district champion here. Yeah, Ursuline is very solid once again. But how about Loveland? The Lady Tigers uh, won this week. Uh, they advanced uh, to the district, district finals Friday to play Lebanon uh, versus Wayne, the winner of that game. Uh, they've got a pretty solid freshman pitcher, Olivia Piper. Um, she's got a sub-3 ERA, about 119 strikeouts and 116 innings. So anytime you're above that, you know, one strikeout per inning, you're pretty solid. Top hitter is a junior Haley Shoemake, hitting close to 500. And uh, Loveland actually has, uh, I think, one senior on their entire roster. So they're definitely uh, a team that could be around uh, this year and next year. Um, but yeah, hopefully the rain will hold off this week, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. What about the rain? I'm tired <laughs> of the rain. Make the rain go away. I'm yes. interrupting. I'm not letting you no, close okay. until the rain no. goes away. You, you can close. It's fine. <laughs> and, well, uh, we also want to remind you guys to uh, check out the preps page. Uh, we'll be posting our sportsmen uh, and sportswomen of the year ballots uh, shortly. And so make the rain go away. I sat out at a Molar baseball game yesterday. I had to go through two hot chocolates. I'm tired of it. It was cold yesterday. Can I close now? Is that cool? You can close. All right, we're done. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>